Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to check if a user is online or offline. By online and offline I mean you will be able to check if a user is connected to internet or not. Let's create a couple of files here. So first file will be index.html then script.js then we also need some style sheet. Now let's go to index.html have some basic structure. Let's add a link to the style sheet. Add a reference to our JavaScript file, which is script.js. We need one div element and we'll have ID of container. And there will be span element inside this. That's it. This is the basic structure which we need. Now with a style sheet. Select the ID which is container and width will be 100% for this. Border will be 1 pixel solid black. Text alignment will be center and the text color will be white. That's it. This is the code which is required in the CSS file. And this is the code which is required in the HTML file. Just for testing purpose, just put something like online here, save it, open this file in the browser. So as you can see, online is there, but the color is white. But later, in case of online, we'll make it green, the background. And in case of offline, we'll make it red or black. Now just remove this, leave it empty, save it. In the script file, we'll make use of Navigator API to check if a user is connected to internet or not. So let's make it status, window.navigator online. So it will return true or false. So if it is connected, we'll call online function, which will basically set the styles, else we'll call offline. So let's create the functions here, online. So let's select the container here by the ID. ID is container. And Background color will be green in this case. Now let's select the span element using query selector. And text content in this case will be online. Just copy this, paste it here, make it offline. Now here, make it red and here make it offline that's it now just save this go to browser you can see we are online but if i disconnect we will not be able to see offline here because we need to add event listeners so we'll do it here window dot add event listener so we'll listen to online event if the user is online we call online function if user is offline we call offline function great now save it go to browser we are online let me disconnect my internet see we are offline if i'll connect again we are In real life projects, you don't need these three lines of code because if somebody is visiting your website, then definitely he is connected to internet. But if you want to run this piece of code, you better run it inside a DOM content loaded event or you can go with the jQuery ready function. It's your choice. I hope you got the point how it actually works. 
See you the next video. Have a nice day.